Hey guys, what's up? Uh, today I am bringing you a, um, actually I believe a subscriber requested video on um, continuing um, showing you how to make table views and customize them and stuff like that. So this is the next part, I guess you could say, uh, building off the same project. So if you haven't watched the previous video, I'll link it so that you can. Uh, uh, or if you already know how to do it, that's fine too. Um, but today, um, we're going to be going over um, a few more things that you can customize your table with. Um, such as um, making each cell execute an action when you press it, and deleting rows. Uh, but before I start, um, I just want to say... I just got 300 subscribers. Uh, thank you all so much for uh, it's an honor that you guys actually enjoy what I have to teach to you guys. That's really awesome. Um, that's really great. So thank you so much. And uh, it would also be amazing if you guys could share this with your friends and family, uh, anyone who's interested, so um, they can see what I have to offer, uh, if you will. Um, so thanks a lot for that and thanks to all your new uh, to all the new viewers and subscribers so um i'm sorry i also haven't been making regular videos but it's the summer i've been really busy um taking tests um and stuff uh for school uh, a lot of things so i'm very sorry about that um plus just whatever you do in the summer very busy uh so I'm rambling right now, so that's bad. Uh, let's get started. So, uh, what we're going to do is, um, first, as you can see, we have our array, um, which is basically our data source, which is holding our data, which is cat, dog, and hello. Now, of course, you can add more, take away some, and for each of these strings, it displays one, each of these strings, and makes a new row out of it, new cell, if you will. So, uh, but we're not going to really focus on that. We're, what we're going to be focusing on today is this um, table view did select row it at index path method. method excuse me. So, we're, what we're basically going to do is we're going to display uh, according to the cell. We're going to display the each individual's cell's text in an alert view. So, let's say we tap dog. Uh, the alert view will pop up and dog will be displayed in the alert view. Now, you can do many other things such as open new views and pretty much whatever you can think of. So, you can get creative and um, do whatever. So, what we're going to do is we first have to create our string that will be um, displayed in our alert view. So, what we can do here inside these brackets is actually put that back bracket up there it doesn't actually matter but that's how I like it so we can do an ns string uh, so we can do a display string call it display string equals bracket ns string string with format we can do at, at and then the quotations oops don't know what I did there and then it, inside there, we can do perc percent at, and in that percent at, that will mean we want to display text there. But it doesn't know what text yet. So what we're going to have to do is um, comma um, bracket, and then the bracket, uh, my array. So we're going to get our array, object at index. I'll explain this in a second index path dot row oops close that twice so what we're doing here is um we're getting my array and the and arrays work in indexes so zero to whatever so zero one two three four um and then we're finding our index path so whatever we tapped on it will return a number uh, and we'll get that index path, so whatever, let's say we tapped on cell 
one. Um, so we object at objected index uh, one for our row index path would be one, and then it would get the object at object of the array and display it here. So we're going to display that in um, an alert view. So I, I hope that makes sense. Uh, I know it's a little confusing, but um, it's yeah. Uh, it's just practice, basically. Um, and Apple has a bunch of documentation on that as well. Um, if I didn't explain that well enough. So what we can do now is just create our alert view. Of course, it doesn't have to be alert view. It could be an action sheet or whatever. Um, equals um, UI alert view alert. Equals UI alert view a lock. In it with title. We could just make the title display string. Oop. I don't know what I did there. Display string, the message, it could be the same thing. Delegate self. Actually, um, cancel. We can just do dismiss. Other button titles, nil, unless you'd like to. Close that. And now, you can actually do, let's do the title. You pressed on display string so that the the uh, the um the the text will be displayed as the message and now we just have to show our alert so we're going to do alert show okay so we uh we finished that and um wasn't that hard not that much um not that much code so what we're going to do now is um, we want to be able to um, delete a um, excuse sorry I'm just losing it right now delete a row from our table view uh, it's as simple as swiping left or right and um, as you can see with this method it makes it super easy so you're gonna uncomment that um, but first we have to change something we have to go back into our view controller .h. Uh, instead of an NS array, we're going to have to make an NS mutable array. Since the array is our data source, we want to be able to remove and add objects to it. Without the mutable part, it will not be able to do that. Um, hence the name mutable. So mutable it will be able to be changed and you'll be able to add rows and delete rows. So I hope that made sense. Oops, didn't know what I did there. Um, so um, we also have to change this view to load. Instead of NS array, you're gonna do NS mutable array block, and that and that should fix that perfectly. So now in this method here, um, commit editing style, you're gonna go to this if statement right here. If editing style equals UI table view editing style delete, and then uh, you can also do the animation when it deletes, like it can go to the top or go left, the actual cell itself. It's pretty cool, but you can play around with that. It's right right here. You can see all these different <clears throat> different animations. Um, animation top, right, none, middle. Pretty cool. Um, so, as, as you can see, uh, Apple already commented this. It says delete row from, data, from the data source. So, our data source is our mutable array so we're just gonna remove a object from our or from our array at the index that we swiped so what we're gonna do is my array remove object at index index path dot row so whatever row you decide to swipe on and tap that delete button it's going to remove the object from our array and um, you'll be good to go and all you have to do is um, table view reload data so once it deletes everything will be reloaded and it'll be all good uh, so yeah that reload data this method basically just reloads all the rows as you can see in the little information it says reloads all the all the rows and sections of the receiver 
you want to use this method <clears throat> for your table view when you do any change changes so just keep that in mind so let's run this and see how everything works out give it a second as you can see we already have our rows here and we tap on one and as you can see as simple as that it shows which row you pressed on now let's try deleting dog as you can see we deleted it and cat and hello still remain so that's pretty awesome it works perfectly uh, um, just for the fun of it we're gonna just um, do a different animation so let's do UI table view row animation um, left I think left is pretty cool um, so let's try this out let's swipe let's tap delete and as you can see it goes to the left and the other one moves up so you can delete basically all of them so it's as easy as that um, I really hope this helped you out um, if you have any more suggestions for videos uh, feel free to inbox me or leave a comment um, any suggestions on how I can improve that would also be awesome um, so I'm sorry I haven't responded to a lot of your questions but again I've been so busy just doing whatever uh, so anyways thank you guys so much for watching I hope to bring you a video quite soon so I'll see you later